Oh man, can you guys see that? I hope you guys can see that. All right. This is like a, if I had a channel trailer, this is where it would roll right about now. I'll have to get me one of those. All right, guys. Welcome to the Nostalgia Nook, where we give you just a dash, about that big, worth of nostalgia to get you through your day. What we have here, something very near and dear to my heart. We have free Pokemon Tops cards. And before you get your panties in a bunch, yes, they were free. But that means, no, they are not in the best condition whatsoever. Um, an old buddy of mine picked these up at a yard sale. I don't know what he paid for them, but he gave them to me for free. So, we're going to go through these today. And I've been messing around with the lighting. I dug my old gorilla pod out. My gorilla tripod from about five years ago when I had another YouTube channel. Back when having a YouTube channel was cool. Now everyone has a YouTube channel. You're not cool, man. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> so, have this ring light. I have this poor man's gorilla tripod. I have my $60 phone from Walmart. We're going to get this thing done. Look at the corners. You can tell how bad the corners are roughed up. Now I do know he said there was nothing crazy. So as a collector, you can assume he probably went through them. Um, it's just a given, really. <clears throat> so, but I said, you know, can I give you something? He said, no, take them. We've been sitting in my car for three months since you asked about them. I said, okay, man. The only thing you wanted back was the Rayquaza tin that they came in. So, shout out to you, man. Really made my night when you gave me these. Um, now, I do believe, as you can see right here, if you grew up in the late 90s, early 2000s, and Pokemon came out, card game was taken off, and Pokemon was everywhere. Um, came out with the movies, and Tops came out with these special cards. They weren't as popular as the TCG at the time. Not everybody was really into these because they weren't your regular standard TCG card. Um, they don't have any stats. It's just still from the movie, little information. Um, I, uh, I do believe there is Series 2 Tops TV Animation Edition in here, and then the Series 1 Movie Animation Edition, which is what's on the top. Um, I'm pretty sure all of them, <clears throat> excuse me, all of them are the first print run. You can tell because there's a blue Tops logo. I think the second print run was black, third print run was red, fourth was green or something like that, according to my research. Um, these Topps cards are actually becoming pretty collectible um, these days just because they're so different and unique and nobody wanted them. Mom came home with a pack of these cards instead of the regular ones. Forget about it. <clears throat> so... We got our sleeves here, like we're Ben Wallace in the 2004 finals, just in case any of these are in good condition. We got the sleeves on deck. Um, I just want to go over the this background with you because I've been I finally got oh, oh, I just got my lighting right and then I let me do that. Okay, so 
been watching a lot of videos about how people do their thing. And I think this looks pretty good, right? The only trouble I feel like I might be running into, you guys like that? It's Mickey Mouse. Um, <clears throat> is I laminated these pictures. This one's Rengoku, Shinjiro. Under here is my guy and my die. And then over here is the channel mascot, Mankey. But anyways, like I was saying, I wanted it to be a space where the cards weren't right up in your face, but not so far away that you couldn't read them. So one thing in the nostalgia nook we're big on is card life. We're all about that card life. Not just Pokemon either. I have all kinds of TCGs um, that I haven't even opened yet that I bought at antique stores or what have you. Um, so, let's go over this stuff first, just real quick. Just because some of it's, you know, kind of important to me. All of it has a backstory. You gotta love the backstory, especially with anything related to nostalgia. So, I have the Haunter sketch card. If you guys watch my latest video, you would know about that. Draw these little sketch cards. This one's laminated. But, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, this is the pencil that I was using for the image for Haunter. And then I kind of just squirrelied my own shadow ball in there. Looks pretty nice. Put him behind that brick wall like he's a gangster. And right here we have a Beckett Dark Magician from the Legendary Collection. Shout out to iFace for days. Um, good, good friend of mine. Gave that to me in a trade. My first graded card. Um, I don't, I've never graded any, never had any graded cards. Um, so he hooked me up with that, which is pretty cool. He also gave me another Dark Magician from the <clears throat> a starter deck Yugi from back in the day. Because that was the main TCG, believe it or not. I wasn't really big into the Pokemon TCG as a kid. Uh, I can remember, you know, having some of the cards and, you know, collecting them. But when I went to the store and bought packs with my dad and he had to spend $40 at Toys R Us, I was usually buying Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, growing up, played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh. Never played a lick of the Pokemon TCG uh, until I was an adult actually, which is kind of funny, but I was really big into the games. Uh, the games were my thing, right up until 4th gen, Diamond and Pearl, you know, so, enough of all that, we'll start the video, start off, I believe it's Mewtwo Strikes Back, hopefully you guys can see this, we'll start right on top here. The Rebirth of Ash. How fitting is that? That he's on the top. I hope you guys can see this. I've been messing with this lighting for so long. Honestly. Uh, human sacrifice himself. Oh, that was so sad. Do you guys remember that? In the movie? When he turned to stone. He's a pacifist. But look how roughed up the corners are. I don't think any of these cards are going to be worth much. Oh, that's Trunks, by the way. He's my favorite DBZ character, so I had to throw him in there. <sighs> Holographics on the top. This one's warped. Corners falling right apart. But nonetheless, so cool for the nostalgia. The chase for Pikachu. Oh, Ash is pissed. Has the dark Pokeballs. You remember those things? The dark Pokeballs? Those were scary. Legit. All right. What's next? Another hollow foil, a call to arms. That's pretty cool. Dugong, you got Pharaoh in the background. Gyarados, man, if this wasn't... If this wasn't roughed up, this would be a pretty cool card to have. We're gonna stick, we're gonna stick him over here. This is actually a cell phone holder, but it works great as a card stand. 
when I film all my sketch card videos, I usually put it on there. <clears throat> this one is not a hollow foil, but it does have Golduck in it. A little fun fact, Golduck was my very first favorite Pokemon. A little fun fact, the tears of Pokemon, is that Pikachu? I thought it was Raichu with the coloring. <sighs> Alright, like it never happened. I apologize in advance for the heavy breathing. Like I'm Tony Soprano on season six. Oh, we're upside down. The future looks bright. Well, at least someone does. What's this? 